welcome to your learnings my name is suraj mashulkar assistant professor aissms college of hotel management today we are going to go through with the session of room service room service which is in room dining before we begin with the session let's see the objectives of the the objectives of the sessions are to understand the room service process followed with to understand the lead time and time management in room service followed with to understand the staffing of the room service department these are the three objectives of the day let's begin with the first objective which says to understand the process of room service room service sequence starts with order taking the order is taken by the rsot that is room service order taker this order is taken either through telephonic conversation or through breakfast door knobs or by the guest personally let's assume that the guest has given a call in the room service the guest calls up the room service and make sure that he places the order the order is taken by the rsot that is the room service order taker what is the rsot rsot is the room service order taker the room service order taker takes the order as per the guest's need whatever the guest wants to order while taking the order he makes sure that he does suggestive selling suggestive selling a part where the room service order taker suggests the guest to order for certain beverages or food also with the same he does is the upselling upselling is to sell something which is more better than the guest prefer when taking the order the room service order taker should check for the following things he need to confirm the following aspects before keeping the phone the room number of the guest where the order has to be delivered needs to make sure that he confirms the room number before the order is been placed he also make sure that the repeat he also make sure that the order is repeated so that the guest confirms the order once again followed with before making sure that the order the phone before the guest hangs up the phone he need to make sure that the guest is informed with the time that is taken for the order there are certain points that a room service order taker should keep in mind before taking the order first he should make sure that the phone is picked up within the three ranks followed with he wishes the guest according to the time next he make sure that the room service order taker is polite he should also make sure that listen carefully to the guest you should also keep in mind that if you are unable to hear the guest you need to ask the right guest with the right face saying pardon and ask the guest to repeat the order followed with never keep the guest on hold for a longer period of time do not make any sort of fake promises as i said before you need to make sure to confirm the order before hanging up the phone and last but not the least never close the phone first let the guest close the phone these are the points which a room service order taker should keep in mind while he is taking the order this acts like a checklist for the rsot once the order is taken you need to make sure that the rsot places the order in the right place the order has to be placed in the desired department if it's a food you need to make sure that the order is placed in the kitchen if it's a beverage the order is to be placed in the bar once the order is placed you need to make sure that you also enter the order in the point of sale system that is the micros and make sure that the bill is kept ready 
while the order is being placed the room service waiter or the room service captain make sure that they get re- the tray ready what is to be get ready is to make sure that the trolley is with all the desired equipments followed with all the desired accompaniments and the condiments also with any sort of linen that is required for example a tray mat a serviette or any other linen that is required you need to make sure that the tray is presentable or the trolley is presentable once the tray or the trolley is ready you need to make sure that you carry the order to the room the room service waiter carries the order to the room while delivering the order the room service waiter knocks the door softly and once he knocks the door you need to make sure that he announces his name announces the name of the department once the door is open ask for the permission to enter do not enter the room without the guest's permission once the guest allows you in check for the placement of the tray or the trolley ask the guest for where the order is to be placed once the order is placed you need to make sure that you assist the guest with any sort of service of food and the beverage also while assisting make sure that you explain the complete order with the accompaniments check with the guest for any more further assistance required once this is done you need to make sure that you offer the bill while offering the bill or the check to the customer you need to make sure that you open the folder in a right way make sure that the check is visible in front to the guest check the mode of the payment if the guest is paying through cash you need to make sure that you get the change back to the customer if the guest wants to do a room charge make sure that you take the guest signature and also the name of the guest once the check is done you may need to make sure that you thank the guest and say enjoy the meal once that is done also inform the guest of mode of clearance of the tray or the trolley you can say to the guest that they may call to the room service for clearance or leave the tray outside the room the room service waiter or the apprentice will make sure that they clear the tray or the trolley this is the complete process of how the room service sequence happens this is also called as the time management in room service the lead time in room service which starts with the guest placing the order in the room service and the tray clearance by the room service waiter the next objective of the session is the room service staffing room service is a part of food and beverage department the food and beverage department manager is the head of the department under whom the complete room service is operated but the room service has its own manager which is called as room service manager all the operations are controlled or handled by the room service manager he is responsible for the department's operations followed with the senior captain the senior captain acts like an executive or a supervisor of room service he makes sure that all the orders are delivered on time and all the checks have been settled properly he also makes sure that the operations are run on floor in a right way after room service senior captain we have is the captain the captain is actually involved in making the process happen like the room service orders are delivered on time followed with the trays are made ready and make sure that the orders are taken properly followed with the room service order taker the room service order taker is solely responsible for taking all the orders on the phone 
he needs to make sure that he takes the right order with the right procedure and make sure that the order t- which is taken is is placed in the department after the room service order taker we have is the waiter or the waitress the room service waiter or the waitress are responsible for placing the orders in the rooms after room service waiter or the waitress we have is the apprentices the apprentices also known as the trainees these trainees or apprentices make sure all the trays in the room service are cleared from the corridor properly on time these apprentices or trainees also make sure that all the equipments are placed in the right section for the right time so as to carry the service properly so this is the room service staffing these are the people who are responsible for the room service operations which starts with the room service manager followed with the senior captain captain room service order taker waiter or the waitress and room service apprentices or the trainee thank you so much please like and subscribe the channel also attempt a small quiz related to the topic through the link provided in the description of youtube video references for data credits and for the photo credits thank you so much